Hello, my name is Kenneth Snelson. I'm a sculptor. Uh, in 1992, I made a sculpture for a Hallmark Incorporated in Kansas City. I called this sculpture Triple Crown. Bruce Bassett, a friend and a filmmaker, came to uh, Kansas City at that time uh, to record the installation and the moment that he arrived was the critical moment when three, um, the four cranes were uh, going to lift the sculpture onto three pylons. Uh, the sculpture is 85 feet across and about 35 feet high. It's made of stainless steel uh, tubes and uh, stainless steel aircraft cable. Uh, so this is 1992 Bruce Bassett photographing Kenneth Snelson's sculpture Triple Crown in Kansas City. And hopefully everybody treats everything very tenderly. It was about two and a half, two and a half or three years ago, I don't know the exact month, but I started working on it uh, when I spoke to uh, the, the people at Hallmark and, and I am Pay and, and first question is how how big <laughs> how big a piece are we talking about and uh, and so I proposed this 80, 80 foot uh, tr triangular form it's about going to be about 43 feet off the ground it's 33 feet the columns are about 10 feet high well I came here to look at sites and then they uh, that this wasn't one of the ones that were proposed I don't think I saw this originally in a model form at uh, I.M. Pay's office. See, what we ought to be able to do according to the model is to just lift from the center like this with the main, main crane, but what happens is the weight is too great in comparison to the weight in the model, and it brings these legs down, so we have to have three other, three other rigs, these truck cranes, to uh, lift the individual legs, the ones that land on the, on the uh, columns, on the concrete columns up here. So there's a sort of coordinating task, which is to lift all four at the same time, get everybody to move like ballerinas <laughs> in, one, in one move. Uh, it's gonna be a little touchy, but I think that we'll, um, we'll do it slowly and get there. That was him talking to for base number two being put in, talking to three men huddled around and putting it on. Not nod my head, you hit it. <laughs> you don't want to tell me that, Walt. Pretty elegant detail when you see it up there perched on a one inch bolt, three one inch bolts, all of this mass. It's very, really extremely elegant. I got one up in my truck. 
Wow, oh, okay. Yeah, low on Walt's side, I think. Well, this 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 piece is the most complex and, and the most uh, most difficult to do. This is this is the most difficult piece I've done, and uh, this is some kind of a crossover graph when you're uh, much younger and uh, and don't know what you might run into. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the hazards don't uh, occur to you, and. Uh, so, so maybe uh, experience uh, has enabled me to do a piece like this, but uh, it makes me much more uh, conscious of the kinds of uh, difficulties that uh, I might run into.